Paposhnagar was created as a plot settlement in 1954 for migrants from India. It was designed as 417 plots of 38.5 square meters each. The houses consisted of two rooms, a kitchen and a toilet. However, over time they have grown and many of them are now ground plus one to ground plus three structures. The residents have also increased the size of their plots by encroaching on the tertiary roads that were planned as 3.6 to 4.2 meters wide and are in many cases only 1.2 meters today. Secondary roads have also decreased to half their original size. The density of Paposh Nagar is about 1,200 persons per hectare. Schools and clinics in the settlement are all private enterprises. Many of the houses are spacious and well ventilated. The residents are a mix of working class and white collar workers. They are teachers, drivers, maids, paramedics, tailors and beauticians. अपार्टमेंट में तो छोटी सी जगह है उसमें रह नहीं सकते क्योंकि उसमें तो एक कमरा होगा या दो कमरे होंगे इसमें माशाल्लाह खुली छत है इसमें मेहमानों को भी बिठा सकते हैं और दूसरी बात ये है कि मैं ऊपर आके पतंग भी उड़ा सकता हूं बच्चे भी माशाल्लाह आराम से हवा के अंदर जड़ उठ सकते हैं अपार्टमेंट में तो घुटन भी होती है छत के ऊपर तो मेरे जब कोई बच्चे वगैरह बढ़ेंगे और दूसरी बात ये है कि मेरी फैमिली और बड़ी होगी तो मैं कमरे बना के ऊपर बच्चों की रिहाइश कर सकता हूँ अपार्टमेंट में तो कुछ भी नहीं कर सकूँगा उसमें तो ना तो छत मेरी ना जमीन मेरी if there had been a formal organization to monitor the development of Paposh Nagar, encroachments on the roads would probably not have taken place and densification would have been accommodated in building upwards.